Hello everybody, it's Strategic Primus and I'm back with more Heathen Horde with good old Goofy the, the Butcher of Jorvik. I don't know why that's so hard to say. Who knows? And we are finally at peace having taken over the central pieces of Scandinavia over there and of course good old Lincoln. Let's continue. Ah, we get to go beat up the Scots. What a plan. I'll lead this one. Straight for them. Can I get more men? Yeah, I can. Oh yeah, I got more men. Okay. Stuart has interesting ideas on how to improve the economy. Uh, yes, please. I'm trying to save up 500 gold to make myself a new kingdom title. Which we have everything else we need, except for paying a piece, of course, because what is peace anyway? Uh, make sure that's checked. Yes, it is. Let's see what factions are up. Large number. Tradition faction seems to be the one that's more annoyed with me. That's just largely because of this guy. My uncle is annoyed he's not on the council. And uh, that's because we already have a Good marshal, who I trust more. Yeah. I'll throw that around potentially later. You have trouble with one of your petty nobles who is visiting Upland. His behavior being unacceptable would call an understatement. Uh, I could very easily win a war with this little Sweden. So I'm going to call it false accusations. There we go, 8,000 men. Let's slam them. Make sure we have everyone good in here. There we go. Ah, chance to kill someone. And of course they run away. Oh well. My wife is pregnant. Well, my second wife. At last. And we have another prisoner to blot later. Good. Take this back. And smack these Scottish horses some more. Make them run back to Ireland. Ah, my sword's done. Excellent. I have a long sword now. Plus two martial, plus one personal combat skill. Not the best sword ever, but it's not bad. Means I have ten personal combat skill. Pretty good. I'll take that. Ah, council position's open. I need a new seer. I need you to proselytize. Lincoln, please. Alright. I'm going to award myself the duty of beating Ireland out of this war, because that's a 3,000 blob, and I have a larger force. Must kill more. Uh, I, I fall into an uncontrollable way, rage, start biting on my uh, shield. Um, we're, we're a berserker now, that's terrifying. That means we're at 14 personal combat skill and 31 martial, which basically just means, I'm sorry, Christian Europe, you're all gonna die. All right, charge. Ah, somebody's actually ballsy enough to fight me. And he's gonna die. No, we're killing him. Yep, enjoy. Uh, we're fighting his rebellion for him. Oh well. Worth it. Must kill. Uh, that makes this king a very entertaining character. Who the hell are you? Uh, he's going in my dungeon, thank you. Sacrifice for Odin. 
as we just uh, unleash ourselves upon Ireland. We have acquired a magum opus on universal pansia from this dude, who appears to be a um, her hermetic society member. Oh boy. That adds to learning. Uh, if you're a member of the Hermetic Society, which we are not, and we do not have learning too. <laughs> we are a dumb son of a bitch, which is quite hilarious. Uh, see how much Marshall we have. Now I'm going to go back and hit those Scottish forces again. Ivar has won. Good. My courtiers fear me. Uh, they seldom do disappoint me. And uh, another marshal. We're off to a pretty good start here. We have to call down the levy, change out who's in command. Sophie. And we're going to set them to raid Mercia. Actually, no. That's not Mercia anymore, that's Chich Island. Right, I remember. Um, these guys. Skyfland. What chance of these bastards? No, somebody else's chancellor's bastard. Why are you in my court? Are you in my court? No. So why are these people in my... Who knows? I do not care. Hafid. That's a good enough name. She is, however, sickly. Sorry, ill. And I'll have her focus on something when she's a bit older. I need a new steward. The previous one is dead. This guy really wants to be on my council, so I'll put him there. Even though he's a much better marshal. Half ten is finally getting better at using swords and things. Good, he's six. He should be getting better. As we're raiding churches and getting more money. As you do. This is the quest for ever more money. States back home, insulting his local peers, behaving like royalty. Your courtiers are quite sick of him and are asking you for you to take action. Uh, yeah. Ivar, what the hell is wrong with you? Uh, Ivar is a kinder king than I am. You must control rage! I am uh, in a heated discussion with my uncle here, and uh, let's see if we kill him. Ah, I bite off a large chunk of the table and spit it out as Sigurd continues to draw an arm. Berserker rages upon you, but with great effort you manage to channel it towards the table instead of Sigurd, so I don't kill my uncle. Oh. Are you feeling well, my king? Yes, yes, I just needed a moment to collect my wits. Clearly. More piety. Which, as a Norseman, you just sort of drown in. Casually, like. Okay, keep raiding. There's not really any money worth being money in here. Let's send them back. Again, with this series, I'd very like, much like to become a king of Jorvik, get the island to be under me, um, probably the Isles as well, and really be the king of all good Norsemen operating in Britain. Um, it's a bit of a lofty goal at the moment. Who the hell are you? Apparently, uh, Oder of Thring 
Ringstead here is uh, having wars of his own without me. That just feels wrong. We're gathering more money. Two prisoners here. I half want to ransom you, but you can't pay because you're a broke minor lord from nowhere. Of course you are. We'll blot him later. Righteous imprisonment. I don't really care. <laughs> I find it hilarious that we have this book we can't even read. They're doing at least 20. Jeez. Because it's a specific book. That's, that is hilarious. Oh, for, if ever Zerk uh, becomes a member of that society, we will uh, figure it out. We'll have to be Christian first, though, I'm pretty sure. So that's not happening. Alrighty. She's been unfaithful. She's my spy master. <laughs> I don't care what she does. Considering you're both aspiring seducers, that's just, you know, a question of which one of you is more unfaithful at the moment. Ah, uh, my wife is pregnant again. Kvot of Adir expresses his desire to have a seat on the council. He is very good. The problem is, he's better. So, uh, we, we, we don't need you. Sorry, we just don't. I have better guys. I'm sorry. The king is 31 now. Seeing his father died at 44 and his brother died at what, 26? Yeah. That's just eternally a problem. His other, bro other brother was uh, murdered at 28, so, you know, we've clearly. Uh, Gone past the half-life and this kind of a king. I'm gonna ransom him because I need money. He's refusing to pay because he just got unlanded. Ten gold, great. This is after his land got stolen by uh, Odir here. Good job, you did it. High king. We're still threatening, aren't we? Yep, so this is going to be a little bit of waiting as we gather some money, uh, lose threatening, and solidify power. Stormy but otherwise peaceful night in Nordic. A traveling Nordic merchant takes refuge in your holding. He seems like an interesting man, and you've nothing else to distract you. How do you spend the evening? Uh, entertaining him, of course, discussing fighting ta techniques with his guards, debating matters of history, or relaxing by myself. I'm going to entertain him. Yorvik is prospering. It's a good time. I'm going to move my men to Yorvik. Ah, my zeal and religious beliefs have led me to uh, become more respected and given me more prestige. If only I had known this sooner. I have an invalid checksum, which is just eternally a problem. Uh, I, I should have uh, checked off that at the beginning. Uh, we're just going to deal through it. Uh, Yorvik gets new roads, which is good. Local bill cost modifier goes down and prosperity increases. Sadly, I'm trying to save money up to make myself a better king, so I'm not going to uh, do that at the moment. Another daughter. You don't know. I just didn't plagued with daughters. That's fine. I believe I'm elected in that Gravelkin, so uh, getting that splice up is a bad idea. I just realized my half-brother got murdered. <laughs> Good boy. Which means that this one probably wants to be 
Yeah, he's a powerful vassal, so he wants a spot in the council. It's just he's five, so he's not getting one. He's just picked up Lancaster. With weak claims in those and strong claims in these. Okay, that's fine. Call for a physician. Uh, I'm going to go for a focus on shipbuilding because you always need more ships. This is a good day in, in Britain. We have some somewhat of an Atlantic Empire here. This is the point where uh, the series is going to slow a little as we need to consolidate power and make money. These things take time. Ah, good, he's rowdy. Um, what I could do is organize a raid. The problem is the Carlingian Empire is large and strong. So I don't really want to go hit there, even though I probably could get away with it for a little while. That leaves Brittany or Brese here. And what little bit is left of Cornwall. So I'm going to just pop up the economy tab and see what's actually worth raiding. Not much, man. War is blocking up a few trade routes. That's really obnoxious for continuing profits elsewhere. Um, yeah, Bresta is the better option. He has how many men? Only 2,000. Yeah, we can totally raid him. Uh, these are my vassals. Not sending my own men raiding it seems to be a good idea. And here we go. Hopefully we have enough boats. If we don't have enough boats, oh well. We're expect experiencing a play of pirates on our coasts, and there's a rumor that you are supporting them. Can you please put my mind at ease regarding this, or I'm assuming it is not true. Or is it? Uh, Vesta Gotland. Over here. Oh, he actually has a, he actually has a coast. Be it known, he actually has a coast. Uh, well, I have the rest of his coast, but, you know, details. Uh, I'm going to say strange accusation, uh, and he's clearly up to something. Alright, these guys have boats over here, so I'm going to try to get them all onto a boat. Because every little bit helps. I don't know why the king is leading this piece. It makes no sense. I'm going to call you on your boat. Then I'm going to call the boats, tell them to get there. Unify this wing of the army. We'll get to that in a second. And we're ready. On the boat. Bring the boats to the Orvik. And over here. I can finally create the titular kingdom of Jorvik. But I don't quite have enough money money. So away we go. Ah, my marshal's dead. Time to replace him. Uh, Oldir here is miscontent and is a decent marshal and likes me, so let's make him in. I always use more loyal council members. I could break the pact with him, which I don't really want to do. Uh, and I'm just going to say his intentions were honorable. I lose a little bit of prestige, which is a little bit annoying. But in truth, I do not care enough about 50 prestige. Alrighty, it's raiding time. calmly uh, descend upon Brittany here with a massive fleet and steal all their goodies. Half Tan's getting better. Yay. He's a skilled fighter now. That's not bad. What claim we can press on Skane against the Carlingians? Uh, no thank you. Zernay can only raise 8,000 men and they have 17? 16? Somewhere in there. 16. No. Uh, controlling rage again. 
Ah, just collecting my wits. I'm eternally collecting my wits, apparently. Good thing to know. This guy would also like to get under me as well. I'll just note that his thing here exists. He's a well beloved Norseman. Um, scourge from conspiratorial factions. The snake in the eye. I'm not going to poke that bear because I don't want to deal with him, him revolting right just this moment. He's getting better. Uh, as it appears that. Uh, aforementioned uh, Hasting here is uh, having himself a raid. At least I'm helping. Trained fighter for the younger son. Eight years old and already a skilled fighter. He's probably going to become just as BA as we are. Good. Okay, siege this castle. Come on. Give me my money. Alrighty, I'm going to, what is it, he's a Dane, he clearly has to be released, alrighty, uh, sack my stone, it's the clear answer on that one, can I make, okay, I can either call myself the King of York, or the King of Denmark, because I apparently have enough pieces to call myself the King of Denmark, which is weird if you think about it. The Kingdom of York has no de jure land, which means I can't press de jure t uh, claims on titles. The Kingdom of Denmark, however, has de jure lands, of which Jyland is one of them. So I'm going to call myself the King of Denmark, who's in Britain, uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, make Jyland get under me. 50. I get 500 prestige. Cost 347. Yes, I know the previous uh, idea was to become the King of Jorvik, uh, but this is a much better power play of getting people under me. That being said, it doesn't make that much sense because I have pieces that are Denmark. I have the Isles, and I have that bit, and some of these pieces that you've argued were maybe Denmark at times. Um, but I'm based out of Jorvik, so I'm it's as as tempting as. Uh, becoming the king of Denmark is. I'm. I'm not gonna go for it. I am. I am the king of Jorvik. <sighs> Here we go. Just what could have been. I'm probably gonna create that kingdom as well. Become a double king uh, and try to push for an empire. Because that would be hilarious. All right, secession nomination. Uh, I'm of course nominating my eldest son. I don't know why I wouldn't. I do not have trust. Make my uncle and some hearing. And I believe I get more commanders. Yes, I do. All hail the king and his raft of commanders. <laughs> okay. Also means I can create some of those lesser titles now uh, if I had more money. You know what that means? Time to get more money. Those battle axes look awesome. He looks good with a crown on his head. We are not crowned yet. We can go quest at royal coronation, but I need money for that, so I'm going to go get money. Huh, there seems to be a theme here. Get money. <laughs> this man's important prisoners. This dude. The Iceland. Oh. Why do we have an Icelandic? I have no idea. We're going to release him, though. He'll owe us one. Oh no, we must save Hasten. We can't let a, a good Norseman get slaughtered. There we go. Cumberland's usurping things again because, of course... Dear God. Oh, we're still called York. That's not allowable. Ahem. Uh... We're going here. That's not what this is. We have the UR figures. There we go. Can't let them think this is York suddenly. That's an English idea. 
There we go, we saved Hastings. Or a terrible fade, probably. And let's go back to sieging things. The eternal sieging. I don't really want to lose men on this, so I'm just going to siege it down. And make more money. Sacrifice Stoden. And this is just towns, so they're even easier to just assault, so I'm just going to assault it. And of course, Sacrifice Stoden. They seem hellbent on fighting Hasting. I seem hellbent on fighting them, so, you know, killing things. There we go. The more we weaken these guys, the easier they are to raid. False accusations. Come on. My mother in law is dead. Right, I married my cousin. Right. <laughs> about that. I should probably try to avoid doing so in the future. This count seems to be rebelling. Nope. Oh, he's going for a conquest. Okay. Good. He wants a seat on the council. Ooh. He just might get himself a seat on the council. Uh, that is a, I'll see what I can do, and boom. Part of the stake. Oh, this dude. Eesh. Christians are weird, man. Uh, it's just I should punish her. Again! Waste my time. You're both cheating on each other. Uh, you, you need counseling. You you need the Viking equivalent of counseling. Just just do it. I'm pretty sure that's whacking each other with axes, but I'm I'm ignoring that. And I'm probably gonna have another daughter. Woohoo. <sighs> Yeah, he's got that. I gotta let him fight his own war from time to time. The alliance between me and Ivar is broken down. What, what happened? Uncle? What, what went on here, man? Political concerns. Somebody's gotta be dead. I need a new spy master. Uh, Gurley is loyal, has 100% opinion of me, and, and is oil and is an 18 versus a 21. I like trusting my spy master. I've been whacked by one too many times. I've been burnt, man. Uh, let's put this over there. Okay, good. And here we go. Keep raiding. Yep, it's town. Burn it. There we go. Celebrating victories. And let's get the church. Because we always need more money. How much is in this boat? Boat has about 100... Let's try to make it about 120, and head back with a giant pile of gold to the King of Jorvik, and get crowned. Ah, he's been successful. Good. He's probably going to get steamrolled by the Carl Engines eventually, but, you know, that's what the AI does. Everyone gets steamrolled by the Carl Engines eventually. I could have him a correlation here, while I'm leaving my men in Brittany, or I can have it when I get home to Jorvik in a couple of turns. We're having it in Europe, it just tastes better. Alright, we need our character here. You. Oh, jeez. I keep losing my commanders. We're promoting them. Probably a little bit above. And, oh dear. He's getting to be pretty good. He's already pretty good. Good job, guys. Willful and rowdy. Good kid. Celebrating victory and back to the boat. That should be enough money for the short term. I think we're going to end this off with our uh, coronation. Because that seems like a good place to end it as we have become a king. And we're still waiting for the threatening to go down. Jeez, that's going to take a while. Okay, Royal Coronation. Looking forward to it. Uh, the Godi Ragnar of Saint Molang. Uh, 
uh, Lord Master, Convoy 17 Learning. He seems like the kind of guy I, I'd want to perform in my coordination. Uh, he's having a war, so he won't be here. Oh well. Oh, he's dealing with poles. I feel him on that one. Okay, we'll adopt the Marshal's ideas. So we're still waiting for a coordination event to trigger. Give it a minute. Royal Coordination, just stay away. You can choose a new name. I can either choose a more prestigious name, where it will probably tell me to be half damn, oh, and I can say I'm not changing my name because I'm Goofy. I like Goofy, it's a good name. I gain 100 piety, 50% of becoming, chance of becoming proud, which, you know, that, that's probably happening. And I'm crowned. The tradition faction is happier with me. You know, these buggers. Let the festivities commence. Well done, Bragi. Who apparently delivered quite a poem. Making me more glorious. And this dude is puking his guts out on the floor. The guy who crowned me. No, not the guy who crowned me. This is another guy. I think. How many goatees do you have? Yeah, this is another guy who crowned me. Okay. Jeez. And my daughter is born. At the coronation, apparently. It's a wild party. Uh, I found a new friend, uh, Alderman Brithiel. For most of the coronation feasts, Godi Vang of Dudley acted normally, or, you know, normally as one can expect. Uh, then a servant placed the wrong flag in front of him, and that set him off, ranting and raving, until finally the hall watched in silence as he was escorted the hell out of there. Oh, uh, great. Great. Alright. 100 prestige, and the mood of the court faction is improved. So getting crowned makes your factions under you, uh, less likely to not like you. And the Prosperity Faction is supporting me. Good. I believe I'm going to call that an episode right here. We are slowly gaining more territory in Ireland, with no, you know, action on my part. It's just entirely older here, just going, yeah, I can take over Ireland, why not? <laughs> um, I've mostly just been raiding and getting crowned quick little short ditty of an episode. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.